Hello and welcome. So in this series, we're putting together a 22 space modular synthesizer by synthesizers.com. This is our goal. This is where we are so far. Today, we're gonna to add another module, the voltage controlled amplifier or VCA. So let's install it and see what it does. Okay, so let's check out the Q108. We'll install it, see what it does. Okay, so we have it installed. We're gonna connect the output of the oscillator to the input. We have two inputs, by the way, which means you can mix two signals together, which is very cool. Uh, in a synthesizer, mixing signals is a common thing, and a lot of times we just run out of mixers. Having a module that has mixing built right in is awesome. Uh, we're gonna take the envelope generator and run it into the control input, like that. And then I'm gonna take my mixer and connect it to the output so we can hear it. I'm just going to turn up the, uh, the master gain and we hear it and it just plays continuously. So this is our amplifier stage that would normally be at the end of the audio chain oscillator filter amplifier and the amplifier can be automated using the control input. So I'm going to turn up the control input so if you'll recall, we have a gate coming from our MIDI interface going over to the envelope generator. And then the envelope generator is going to produce a voltage. And we can adjust how that voltage occurs with our adjustments here. So what is an envelope? The envelope is the duration of the on time of the sound. So it could come on immediately, stay on, and then go off immediately. Or it could gradually come on and then gradually go off. That on time is considered the envelope. So we have an envelope generator, but all it's generating is a voltage. We need something else to have that voltage impose that envelope onto our sound. So the VCA, voltage controlled amp, takes that voltage and amplifies according to the voltage. If the voltage is high, we get a lot of amplification. If the voltage is low, we get very little amplification. So we are able to superimpose that envelope onto our audio with the voltage controlled amplifier. So one way to look at it is like this. If you want a sound to come out of your synthesizer, you can just reach up and turn the gain. And then turn it off when you're done. Well, that's kind of lame because you have to have to keep doing that, you know, manually. But if we could use a control voltage and remember, we have the gate coming from our MIDI interface every time a key goes down. Well, if we send that to the amplifier, so now it's turning on and off automatically with every key press. Only problem with that is that's it. It's just on and off. If we take that same gate, run it to the envelope generator, and now we can let the envelope generator sculpt the sound as we can modify the attack and the decay and so forth of the sound. So it could be kind of looked at like having a third hand having these control voltages. One of them is selecting the pitch as we play. And that gate is allowing us to turn the sound on and off. and adjust how it plays. Uh, so, okay, so we have two inputs so we can uh, mix. We have two control inputs so we can actually mix controls. We have two outputs. Also, I wanna show this. This is a Q158. This is a dual VCA in a single space. So, if you're building a smaller unit, and you have limited real estate, these types of modules are fantastic because there's a lot of times where you might want two VCAs, just as an example, where you might want to control the amplitude of an LFO frequency for vibrato. Um, having two in one space, then that way you're, you know, otherwise it would take two Q108s and it would take up two spaces. So this is uh, very handy to have one of these. You have two full VCAs. 
Not only that, this does uh, inversion, and it also can do uh, ring modulation by combining the two together. So you get quite a few functions out of this guy. So, uh, and I believe this is uh, less expensive than two of those. VCA controls our amplitude, our gain, and you can superimpose all kinds of control signals onto our sound. And it's usually found at the end of the audio chain. It's very important because otherwise the note would <laughs> just stay on all the time. So need it to turn off. Um, next episode, we're gonna go into the filter. So be sure and stick around for that. So that's the voltage controlled amplifier. Very cool. Next week, we're gonna look at the voltage controlled filter, the VCF. That's really cool. So be sure and stay tuned. We appreciate that you're watching these videos. Hit the like button if you like it, and we'll catch you next time.